and welcome to the Morning Exhale. I'm Stephanie Gaines Bryant. We're going to start our exhale off this morning with something called coherent breathing. We're going to do that throughout the practice. We're going to do a little bit of breathing now and, as always, do a little breathing at the end of the practice. So I want you to put one hand on top of the other. Your palms are facing up. Then let's breathe up. One, two, three, four, one, two. Then exhale down. One, two, three, four, one, two. Hands on top of the one on top of the other. One, two, three, four. Open up. One, two. Exhale. One, two, three, four. Hold it. One, two. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, two, three, four, open up, one, two, exhale, one, two, three, four, one, two. Very good. Now let's take your left hand, bring it on top of your right knee, coming into a twist, looking over your shoulder. Then let's do the other side, twisting, looking over your shoulder. Then back to center. Inhale all the way up, lengthen up, fold forward. We're bringing your hands down directly in front of you. Let your head relax, breathe. Inhale, sitting up. We're going to stretch your legs out. And let's bring your hands behind you. And we're pressing out with your heels. Point your toes, heels, toes. Come back to heels. We're lifting up your right leg. Just circle your foot. Pause. Circle in the other direction. Then release. Let's do the other side. Lifting up. Circle your foot. Pause. Circle in the other direction. Then release. Let's lengthen both arms up. Hinge forward. We're touching either your shins ankles or toes, and just let your head relax. Breathe. Inhale, sitting up. We're going to come to all fours, coming into table pose, making sure your shoulders are over your wrists and your hips are over your knees. Pressing your palms into the mat, round your back, chin to chest, drop your tailbone for cat. Inhale your head up, drop your abdomen down, lift your tailbone for cow. So let's do a couple of cat and cows at your own pace. Just lifting and lowering in a way that feels good to your spine. Come to a neutral spine. Let's stretch your right leg out behind you. Your toes are curled under, and you're just moving forward and back. Now, let's take your right hand. We're going to bring it to the back of your head, and then we're going to exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down, inhale up, exhale down, inhale up, and release. Let's bring that knee back into place. Do the other side. We're stretching your left leg out behind you, and we're just moving forward and back.
Now let's take your left hand, bring it to the back of your head. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Release your hand down. Bring your knee back into place. Always make sure that you have the right equipment. Make sure, and you don't need a lot of equipment, but make sure you have a blanket if you need something to sit on or something to support your knees. If you've got a strap and you can improvise and use a scarf if you need to. Also, Make sure you have your handy blocks, which are really most important. If you don't have a block, make sure you get some paper towels. You can use them for support as well, or if you have a thick book. But let's get to the blocks now, and we're going to bring one block to one edge of the mat and bring the other block to the other edge. Let's stretch your right leg out behind you once more. Then on your exhale, you're gonna bend into your knee, bring your foot in between the blocks. Now let's inhale, lifting your arms all the way up to V position. Then exhale, release your hands back down to the blocks. We're getting ready to do seesaws, and we start off with your knee just over your ankle. If you'd like to, you can drop your left knee back just an inch or so, making the seesaws a little bit easier. Then we're going to move forward, then back, forward, then back forward, then back. Now let's bring your knee to a neutral position. We're going to stretch that right arm out to the side, then release, sweep the left arm out to the side, then release. Then we're going to slide that right foot back into place. We're stretching the left leg out, on your next exhale, bend into your knee, and we're bringing your foot in between the blocks. Let's inhale, lifting your arms all the way up to V position. Breathe. Then exhale, release your hands back down to the blocks. You can drop your right knee back an inch or so as we get ready for seesaws, moving your knee forward, then back forward, then back, forward, then back. Let's bring your knee to a neutral position. Take your left arm, sweep it out to the side, release, sweep your right arm out to the side then release. Let's curl your back toes under. We're lifting up your right knee. Then we're going to step your foot forward. We're going to roll up to center one vertebrae at a time, letting your head be the very last thing to come up. Then let's roll your shoulders forward, up, back, and down. Let's do that one more time. We're rolling your shoulders forward, up, back, and down. Inhale your arms all the way up to mountain pose. Relax your shoulders. Your palms are facing one another. Your feet are firmly rooted to the floor. Then let's bring your fingertips together. Lower your left arm down by your side. Reach your right arm up and overhead. Inhale, coming up, bring your fingertips together. Lower your right arm down by your side. Lift your left arm up and overhead. Inhale, we're coming back up to mountain pose. Press back your thumbs, a slight back bend. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, release your arms down. Hands on your hips, we're gonna fold forward with a flat back, and then I want you to bring your palms to your shins. Breathe, your legs are straight. Then on an exhale, I want you to soften your knees, lower down to ragdoll. 
Inhale, palms to shins. Exhale, lower down to rag doll. Inhale, palms to shins. Exhale, lower down to ragdoll. This time, I want you to bend your knees a little bit deeper and lift your arms up for chair position. Breathe. All of the weight should be on your heels. Inhale, rising all the way up. Palms together. Exhale down to your heart center. Let's separate your feet. We're coming into a wide stance. And then let's begin by pivoting your right foot forward. Bend into your knee. Square your hips to the side, stretching your arms out to the side for side warrior. Breathe. Let's ball your fist this morning. Open, close, open, Close, open, and close. The next time your hands are open, let's bring your forearm down just above your knee. Lift your back arm up and overhead. Then inhale, we're going to come all the way up to reverse warrior. Exhale, lower down into side angle pose. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, side angle. Let's inhale back up to side warrior pose. This time I want you to bring your left arm forward. Bend at the elbows. We're dropping your left elbow down. Bring the right elbow over, coming into eagle arms. Exhale forward. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale forward. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale forward. Inhale, lifting up. And release. Let's straighten out that front leg. Pivot forward. Roll your shoulders forward, up, back, and down. Now let's pivot in the other direction. Bend into your knee. Square your hips to the side. Stretching your arms out to the side. Coming into side warrior. Now let's bring your forearm down just above your knee. Lift your back arm up and overhead. Coming into side angle pose. Then let's inhale, lifting all the way up to reverse warrior. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, side angle. Now let's come back to side warrior pose. I want you to ball your fists, open, close, open, close, open, and close. The next time your hands are open, let's take that back arm, bring it forward, bend at the elbows. We're gonna drop your right elbow down, bring the left elbow over, coming into eagle arm. Exhale forward, inhale lifting up, exhale forward, inhale lifting up, exhale forward, inhale lifting up, release. Now let's bring your hands down to your blocks. We're going to do standing seesaws. So let's straighten, bend. Straighten, bend, straighten, and bend. Step the back foot up. Let's switch. Your heel is down in the back. Let's straighten, bend, straighten, bend, straighten, and bend. 
We're going to drop your left knee down, uncurl your toes. Let's slide your other foot back. We're coming up onto both knees, getting ready for camel pose. Curl your back toes under. Bring your hands to your sacrum area and lean back. If you'd like, you can bring your hands to your heels or not. Lift your chest as if your sternum can reach to the ceiling. Breathe. Inhale, coming up, we're going to come forward, coming back into table pose. And let's bring both knees together. Lifting up your right knee to shoulder height, bring that knee forward, down, and around in a circle. Pause, circle back. The next time your knee is shoulder height, let's stretch your leg out to the side. We're going to take that right leg, bring it across the left leg. The top of your foot comes down, slide back. Use your hands to pull you back up into table pose. Bring your knees together. Then we're lifting up your left knee. Bring that knee forward, down, and around in a circle, pause, circle back. The next time that knee is shoulder height, stretch your leg out to the side. We're gonna bring that left leg across the right leg. The top of your foot comes down. Slide back, bring your forearms down. Use your hands now to pull you back up into table pose. Then we're going to stretch back into child's pose, stretching your arms out in front of you. Breathe. Use your hands to pull you back up into table pose. Then we're going to lower down onto either your right or left hip. Bring the soles of your feet to the floor, and let's bring your hands underneath your thighs. We're getting ready to come into Upward Boat. Lifting up your chest, lean back, coming into Upward Boat. Breathe. Now let's roll on down to your back, and we're stretching your heels to the ceiling for dead bug. Reach your fingers towards your big toes. Breathe. Let's interlace your fingers on your shin. We're going to lower your leg just a few inches at a time. Let's lower down about six inches, lowering that left leg a few more inches. Then we're going to let that heel Hover just above the mat. Lift up your head, lift up your chest, draw your nose in towards your knee. Then release. Let's take your right foot, bring it on top of your left thigh. Stretch your arms out to a T. We're going to let take your left hand, touch your right knee, and we're going to use that hand to guide your knee across your body into a twist. Keep both shoulder blades down. If it's comfortable for your neck, look in the opposite direction of your knee. Bring your knee back to center. We're stretching that right leg out. Let's bring your left knee into your chest. Interlace your fingers on your shin, and we're lifting your heel all the way to the ceiling. Let's lower that leg a few inches at a time. Lower it down a few more inches. 
Then we're going to let your heel hover just above the mat. Lift up your head, lift up your chest, draw your nose into your knee. Then release. Bring the sole of your left foot on top of your right thigh. Stretch your arms out to a T. Let's take your right hand, touch your left knee. Use that hand to guide your knee across your body into a twist. Look in the opposite direction of your knee. Bring that knee back to center. Then we're going to bring both knees into your chest. I want you to use your index finger to grab onto your big toes. And we're just going to sway right and left for happy baby pose. You're a happy baby today. Very good. Let's stretch both legs out. And we're going to bring that right arm up and overhead. Let's roll over onto your right side. Let's come up onto your forearm. We're going to draw your knees into your chest. Use your hand to grip your hip. And we're just going to lift and lower your knee. Very good. Let's stretch that top leg out. We're going to bring your leg forward like you're making an L with your body. Bring the leg back. Forward. Back. Last time. Forward. Back. And release. Let's move to the other side. Bringing your forearm down. Knees stacked. One on top of the other. Hand grips your hip, and we're just lifting and lowering your knee. Now we're going to stretch that top leg out. Bring that leg forward, then back, forward, back, forward, then back. Now let's lower that leg down. We're going to roll right over onto your belly. Let's bring your palms next to your chest. Your elbows are hugged in like chicken wings. Press into your palms, lifting up your head, lift up your chest for cobra. Then release. Let your body melt down onto the mat. We're going to stack one fist on top of the other. Bring your forehead down. Scoop your pelvis into the mat. As you try to relax the left side of your body, lift up your right leg. And we're pointing and lifting from the thigh. Then release. You'll notice that one leg may feel longer than the other, so let's even it out. Scooping your pelvis into the mat as you try to relax the right side of your body, lift up your left leg, always lifting from the thigh. Then release. Very good. Let's wiggle your hips a little bit, right and left. Bring your palms next to your chest. Your elbows are hugged in, coming into upward dog, pressing into your palms, lifting all the way up to upward dog. Then let's press into your knees, pushing back into child's pose. Coming into table pose, then we're going to lower your hip down, swing around, Coming into a seated position, bringing your legs into Sukhasana. Let's roll your shoulders forward, up, back, 
and down. Once more, rolling your shoulders forward, up, back, and down. You can bring your hands, either palms down or palms up, whichever one is most comfortable for you. Let's close your eyes now and go inside where we started, taking in a nice, deep, full breath, counting up as you inhale, one, two, three, four, exhale, one, two, three, four, inhale, one, two, three, four, exhale, one, two, three, four, inhale, one, two, three, four, exhale, one, two, three, four, one more time, inhale, one, two, three, four, exhale, one, two, three, four. I want you to return right now to your natural breath, your natural breathing pattern, and just follow the wave of breath in and out of your body. Noticing your own breath. From the crown of your head to the base of your spine. Noticing your breath as it flows in and out. Begin bringing your awareness back into the room. Bringing small movements to your toes and your fingers. Then I want you to stretch your arms out. Inhale all the way up. Palms together. Exhale with a sigh. Ah. Stretch your arms out. Inhale all the way up. Exhale with a sigh. Ah. Namaste. I'm Stephanie Gaines Bryant. This is the morning exhale. Have a great day. Thank you.